There are a lot of controversies around Soviet-built planes, but a genuine fact is that they've created a lot of unique ones. In today's video, we'll speak about the plane that is faster than any jet ever created. The development of the Soviet passenger transport in the 50s was in demand. Many planes were created, but the long-range airliner was yet to be manufactured. Khrushchev was a very welcoming president at that time. He attracted many tourists from the West and the demand for a plane that can fly up to 8,000 kilometers from Moscow to Khabarovsk was in need. The only planes which were available at that time was Ilyushin-18 and Tupolev Tu-104, but neither of them could carry many passengers. Both of the planes were capable of carrying up to only 80 passengers max, which was a very less number for the rapidly growing tourism. In 1995, the government requested Tupolev Design Bureau to manufacture a long-range aircraft. This project was needed in a short period of time, but yet it needed to be highly reliable, as it would pass over forests in Siberia and over the Atlantic Ocean where no airports were found in case of any failure. Taking everything into consideration, Tupolev decided to develop this plane on its already existing aircraft, Tu-95, and was later given the name Tu-95P, as it was carrying passengers. However, after the success of their second passenger plane, Tupolev Tu-104, the manufacturer decided to name all their civil planes with a 4 in the end, like Tu-104, Tu-114, and the list goes on. Creating passenger planes for military ones can be difficult, because passenger comfort matters. Tupolev made a lot of effort and concentrated on the passenger cabin and the air conditioners, while the exterior of the plane, like the gears, tails, engines, and wings, was not much altered. Tu-114 was not a wide-body plane. Its fuselage was around 20% narrower than Boeing 767. A lot of people might be wondering why Tu-114 was created after Tu-95. Well, the main difference between both planes was the bigger fuselage. Some other things were slightly changed as well, like the wings have been modified in a way to carry more passengers. There was also a change in the variable pitch stabilizer. The previous model, Tu-95, needed a lot more physical effort. Pilots stated that they needed to eat well before a flight. The combination of the high-angle wings and the turboprop engines was an unusual thing. The generals did not believe that this plane would fly well. This combination gave the plane high speed and was fuel efficient. The development of the Tu-114 was made very precisely. The designers and pilots worked very closely. Any remarks from pilots were always taken into consideration. The aircraft was piloted by five crew members, the captain, the second pilot, the navigator, the radio, and the flight engineer. Tu-114 was 54.1 meters long and 51.1 meters wide. It was also 15.44 meters tall. The testings on the plane began on November 10, 1957. It took its maiden flight on November 15, 1957. The aircraft was revealed to the Western world during 1958 and 1959. It took a lot of flights in Western Europe. In October 1959, the same aircraft flew from Moscow to China. After some time, Tu-114 opened six new international flights from Moscow to Montreal, Beijing, Delhi, Accra, New York, and Brazzaville. Tu-114 had the capacity of carrying 170 passengers on board. It was a unique plane, which had a restaurant. Each compartment had two lower beds and an upper bed, a table, and a lamp. However, the incredible growth for flying made Aeroflot replace the sleeping compartments to normal seats, which increased the capacity of the plane from 170 to 220. In 1968 and 1969, Ilyushin 62 was slowly replacing Tupolev 114 for its long range flights, as Ilyushin 62 was considered to be a more luxurious plane. It was used more on international flights, and all the Tu 114s were transferred to another airport. At the same time, Tu 114 started to have more domestic flights. It was impossible to get a flying ticket easily. You would need to book it at least 15 days in advance. Aeroflot was very grateful to the arrival of the Tu-114 as it was the biggest passenger plane at that time before the jumbo jet appeared. The biggest problem of Tupolev-114 was the absence in the USSR of airports to receive this huge aircraft. That was the reason why the flights were limited to only some routes. As the airports lacked the equipment, a lot of them started using Ilyushin-18. The Ilyushin-62 was taking over as well. 1974 was the last year where Tu-114 was used intensely. In the end of its service, all the Tu-114s needed costly repairing, as it served for a long time. But what's the point of repairing it when Ilyushin-62 was taking over? Nowadays, and even in the past, airlines will look for fuel-efficient planes. Stopping Tupolev-114 was a very strange decision, as it was a very fuel-economic plane. And what's even more shocking is that it was replaced with a hungry fuel jet. Ilyushin-62 consumed around 7 tons of fuel per hour, while Tu-114 consumed around 4.2 tons. So, 
What was the real reason behind the decision? This is the end of today's video. What do you think of the TU-114? Share with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the post notifications on to receive the latest from us. See you in the next one.